Well, I spent most of my 20s, I kind of flip flopping around between different genres. I didn't really know what I wanted to write. I think when I started out, like a lot of authors, I kind of thought of myself as had, I had literary aspirations. Yeah. Um, I mean, my favorite authors around that time and, and still now actually, are people like Donna Tartt and, and I really liked Brett Easton Ellis, who wrote American Psycho mm -hmm. um, and Ian McEwan and people like that. And um, I just started writing and just trying to write the best book that I could. And it, it took me a few years to kind of figure out um, that maybe I should concentrate on writing in a genre. And horror was always the genre that I'd, that I'd most loved. I grew up reading James Herbert and Clive Barker and the aforementioned Stephen King. And, um, and I had this idea for a book which was based on a real experience that I'd had where I'd lived uh, above these horrendous neighbours who'd made my and my then girlfriend's life a misery. And when I wrote it, I kind of thought of it as a, a psychological horror novel. And it actually, it has a horror plot rather than a, a kind of classic thriller plot. Um, and yeah, so I just kind of fell into it really from writing that book and realizing that I'd written a psychological horror slash psychological thriller novel. And then when I when I um, then kind of was self publishing a few years later um, and trying to figure out what genre exactly the books that we were publishing fitted into, um, it seemed better to say it was a psychological thriller than psychological horror, partly yeah. for kind of commercial reasons. And then it just kind of took off from there. Everything I've done since then has been a psychological thriller. But like I say, there's always some horror, horror elements because I just love the tropes of horror and I like using them.